What's up, y'all? It's me. It's your boy, Asmongold, and today I wanted to show you guys how to do maximum DPS, how to go big dick on Mythic Olythri Rin Feral. Now, before I get into it, I do want to say one thing, which is an apology. I am sorry I have not done more of these videos recently. I have not had that really great of gear, but that has all changed because Blizzard has rewarded my hard work, my efforts, and more importantly, my skill in giving me the top two best Arms Warrior Legendaries in the game, the gloves, and also the Execute Ring, so doing top damage is no big fucking deal. Now that being said, obviously if you don't have this amount of gear, you're not going to be doing this amount of damage, but the strategy that you'll see in this video does stay the same. On this poll, I was ranked 5 for all warriors. I could have done better, and I'm going to go ahead and emphasize the mistakes that I made in this video probably more than the successes. As soon as you pull the boss, you want to pop your cooldowns, you want to pop your old war potion, you want to go big dick on her right from the beginning, okay? Do as much damage before feeding time as possible. The only thing that she should be feeding on before feeding time is your fucking big dick damage. Now now, if you get the little line that connects you to another player, to be honest, I never did progression on this boss. I have no idea what it does. Uh, don't worry about it. Who cares? Just keep damaging the boss. As soon as she goes into feeding time, go ahead and switch off. Kill a couple of spiderlings. You might want to stand in the web just to spawn, spawn a couple of extra spiders. Now, if you still have Warbreaker up at this point, go ahead and pop Warbreaker, pop Bladestorm, damage on the spiders. Don't worry about standing in the poison. Basically, stand in the fire DPS higher. Don't worry about it. Okay, after that, that's right there. You see how I jump back? there i ran out of rage that's called a double jump back switcheroo that's whenever you jump back with heroic leap with the bounding stride glyph you charge back in and then since you already have the move speed you move back out again and you charge back in again because you have double time and you gain twice as much rage and you hopefully get another tactician proc always do that if you're running out of a uh, of rage and you don't have a tactician proc to keep up your damage now at this point you want to just be doing as much damage as possible now if you get the poison debuff on you this is another mechanic i really don't know what it does the only thing i know is that it doesn't really do that much damage so just go ahead and put the poison around the melee worst case scenario you kill the group and best case scenario you also kill the group it's pretty much good no matter what because the only thing better than beating your competition is killing them now after that the second uh what do you call it the second feeding time run away from that get back on with Ren Feral. now this is whenever she goes into bird mode now don't worry about bird mode that's not really a big deal now if she puts the tornado on you what you got to do is pretend like it didn't happen so the only thing you do whenever you get the tornado on you is it one second after you just jump back out and then you uh you let the tornado uh i guess like put it away from the entire group then you charge back in and even help yourself out a little bit and then you can do another charge to get a little bit more rage that does make jumping over to another platform a little bit more complicated now whenever she does dark storm this is very very important here now whenever she does dark storm you can get on the feathers or you can go over to here if you don't have her little leap up watch this right there see how i aggroed the spiders that's exactly what you want to do i did that on purpose the reason for that is there is literally no negative outcome for aggroing these spiders, okay? One outcome is you do more damage. Second outcome is people take more damage. That's more damage for the healers to heal. That's higher DPS, the HPS for them. And third outcome is that you can die, everybody wipes, and then you just get to go back there and do even better next time. Now here, right here, I made a tactical error in obeying the tactics. Now, you never want to do that. This Violent Winds takes you out of melee range. If you're not in melee range, how are you going to do any damage? Don't ever let that happen. So unless you have some sort of a movement speed like stampeding roar or whatever don't worry about that. Worst case scenario again is that you kill the, the other people in the raid, they take more damage, and usually they'll have a battle res, so don't worry about that anyway. It's other people's problems. You can't let other people, you can't tell like, your raid leader, you can't let your guild, you can't let your raid tell you what to do. You are a wild beast. You cannot be controlled, okay? You need to be doing as much damage to the boss as possible so everybody else can be worrying about the, the mechanics, okay? Doesn't mean anything. Now, the second violent wins, I just ignore those. Apparently, you're not going to supposed to take two of those. I, I don't know why i think it has something to do with that debuff there now also again if you get shadows you need to move out here now this is going to be your third avatar remember again you want to use your first avatar on pull second avatar whenever she goes into bird mode and third avatar on execute okay as you can see here i'm gonna go and use my potion use avatar use execute or recklessness whatever the fuck it is i don't even know they've changed the name like a hundred times Pop, hit execute a bunch of times okay that's pretty much all you need to do now at this point this this could have been my rank one if she didn't go up in the air 
but we did have a couple of deaths and so that was a little few few mistakes now i got linked to nerf now i think that whenever you walk through somebody with this line it stuns them so or it does something to the other players i don't know that i have no idea actually but if that's the case make sure to run over all of the other melee if you have the line so you can actually lower their damage to make yourself top damage okay very important and myself i was actually i think i was doing that on accident make sure to move out the uh, green things don't really worry about killing the spiders other people can do that try and finish off the boss with executes and then pretty much kill them that's pretty much all it takes as you can see right there i did really really good damage i could have done better if i had done a better beginning opening phase if i had been a little bit faster with moving around if i wasn't standing in that violent winds if i was a little bit faster with that i could have done even better but as you guys can see i got rank five for warriors in pretty much the whole world so this is a really good strategy and i hope it helped you as much as it helped me thank you for watching and like comments and subscribe